one time during the, during the treatments, like I say, you know, it lasted for two years. She was concerned that maybe that uh, they would give up on her. And uh, and on one of the visits with uh, Dr. Crane, who was her doctor, um, she mentioned that to him. And he, he told her that wasn't going to be the case. And what sealed the deal for her was he, he gave her a hug. And she knew that uh, she was going to be treated very well. And that healing touch comes from within the heart within your mind. The medicines come out of the needles, the pills come out of the box, but the healing process comes right out of your heart, right out of your eyes, right out of your mouth, because touching people and motivating them, moving them to a sense of getting better is what this stuff is all about. They were always always positive. I don't know how they did it. Those people that was working in that room, it's like they were born to do that. I truly believe that his dedication as a person to my mother saved her life. It went far beyond science. It went, it was human compassion. I can't say enough good things about the hospital and about you know, the doctors and the nurses, and we would not have gone through it without people at Rex. This month I turned 49 years old. I wouldn't have made 50. For the team here, you guys helped save my life. And I can't thank you enough. I got into Rex because of my dad. They took such good care of him. And when I came to visit him, the nurses were so great. I saw how everybody treated him. I said, when I retired, I was gonna go back to Rex as a volunteer. And that's what I do now, I volunteer in same day surgery. With our nurse staying over her shift, that's really neat that people would take their time to do that. Eileen had asked to know when our appointment was scheduled for, and she came in on her day off to be with us when our son was born. The only way that I got through this, the way I did, was because of the people here. Dr. Long getting me started, Dr. Sharp taking over, down to the staff in the office when I come in to know who I am. I think everybody went out of the way, even the cafeteria staff that first night That's right. sent a meal to the room so that I didn't have to go anywhere. And they sent a meal for Michael. That was really special to us because he didn't have to leave me. It's just things like that, you know, that, that really make a difference. The amount of support that the security officer exhibited towards us, he seemed to know me before I even knew him. He really stands out in my mind. I would have to say that every single encounter that I've had with staff and personnel at Rex has been one of um, care and compassion. Now I've got family and friends that I want to be around for for a long time and I'm just 100% happy that I went through and did it because I think they have given me my life back. Thank God that we were sent in the right direction and we got the right doctors and they gave us hope. But that's what we wanted was just a little bit of hope. It is a giving back to society. They take a personal interest in each one of us and they want to change our life. It's all about relationships and relationships between doctors and nurses in a moment of fear and anxiety. Nothing can calm you more than a smile, 
a look into somebody's eyes and something that says, you're going to be okay. No matter what happens, you're going to be okay.